What's up guys? Anthony here with Empire Music and uh, showing you another fresh brand new Fender Ventera series bass here today. Um, and today it's going to be the 60s jazz bass. The Ventera series is brand new from Fender um, and basically what it is, it's, they call it a decades project. So what they're doing is they're taking uh, guitars or basses from decades, uh, whether it be 50s, 60s or 70s, and they're packing all the best features of that stuff and um, approximating the sound of that whole decade kind of into one guitar. Um, maybe a few guitars in the case of some of the Strats and Tellys where they'll do a modified version that adds modern touches like, um, maybe like an S1 switch or something like that. But for the basses, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so like I said, today is a 60s jazz bass. Um, this one's in fire mist gold. It's beautiful, great looking instrument. Um, and I'll show you the tones and some of the specs on it. Before we get rolling though, um, as I always ask you to do, please subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, share us on Facebook, uh, throw it out there everywhere you can, like it on Instagram, uh, tell everyone about us. We're here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If you're local, please stop in the shop, call the shop, 412-343-5299. If you're not local, call that number, check it out at empiremusiconline.com. Um, we have a ton of great Fender, Fender Custom Shop, Gibson, Taylor, Martin, uh, to name a few. Um, so. Back to the bass, 60s jazz bass, the Ventera series. Uh, Fire Miss Gold, like I said, it's a gloss urethane finish on it. Feels great, neck feels super nice, nice and smooth. Uh, profile on the neck's great, it's a thin C profile. Turn this volume knobs down here. Uh, thin C profile, so if you like a, a slim, easy to get around neck, this got your name all over it. Um, uh, very sleek, very fast to play. Um, inch and a half at the nut. It is a synthetic nut. It has reverse gear tuners in it, a lot like our some of our custom shop stuff, uh, like in in the old school, on the old school stuff. Uh, what we normally think of as tightening is loosening, and loosening is tightening. Don't worry, you'll get it in no time. Trust me. Uh, Pal Ferro fretboard on there. Uh, looks great. Tortoise guard. Normal modern uh, P bass, geez. jazz bass controls, volume, volume, tone, not like a concentric pot, you know, the 60s, the midway 61. This is what everyone kind of recognizes as the jazz bass control setup. Uh, I think that's about, oh, seven and a quarter radius on the neck or on the fretboard. So that's straight vintage. That's, you know, vintage spec there, a little different from a lot of the stuff we see out with nine and a half on there. As a bass player, I don't notice that as a big. Uh, not that anything's ever a hindrance, but I don't even really notice it. If you wouldn't tell me this is seven and a quarter, I don't really think of it. Uh, guitar players that bend notes might notice it more if something is either harder to bend or something might fret out a little bit easier because of the, the rounder radius. Um, but as a bass player, we're not, they're, they're tighter strings. It's harder to bend them that far, even though we certainly do bend strings. If you would, the only time I notice a, a fretboard radius is if, if it's super flat, an 11, a 12, a 14, but like nine and a half to seven and a quarter, to, to me, and I mean, I've been playing for quite some time, I, I, I don't really even pay it much mind. Do I like the sound of the bass? Do I like the feel of the bass? Does it inspire me to play? Done. That's like really the criteria that needs met, um, at least for me. So sonically, it gives you everything we really want out of a jazz bass. Um, it definitely has that. 60s kind of punch to it, which sounds different than a 70s. I'd have to A, B them to, you know, really tell you exactly how they sound different, but it definitely sounds and feels like, like a 60s jazz um, with a really slim neck on it, which is, which is cool. So straight finger style playing, both pickups wide open, uh, tone all the way up. upper register that's what it sounds like finger style wise exactly what you get like I always say out of a good instrument regardless of price point does it give back what you give it 
if you're digging, does it sound like that? Does it, does it change the quality of the note a little bit? Does it change the quality of the start or the finish of the note? Yes, it does. If you don't dig, does it retain its warmth and how round it can be? Yes, it does. Now we play with a pick, bring out a little bit more mid range to it. Um, a lot of stuff I've been playing in the shop recently, I've really dug the way a pick sounds. I'm not predominantly a pick player, but obviously that does come into play sometimes. Um, so here you go with pick. higher up the neck. Super cool. And if you palm mute, which I do a lot, uh, here's a sound with that. playing is so bad it took the lights out i mean that's just the way that works man um but that's what it sounds like with palm muting i think we're still good to go right no worries here right um so we're going to go back to just the bridge pickup here actually no we're going to go both pickups wide open we're going to roll that tone back just a little bit give you a quick example finger style and pick Pick, tone at 50%, pickups wide open. And if we solo the front pickup, tone all the way up, we're really into P bass territory, as uh, if you're familiar with the jazz bass, that's always what you kind of get out of it. So. Wide open front pickup, full tone. And back pickup. Full on, full tone. I'm going to play over that pickup too to draw out some of that mid range. Wide open tone, wide open volume on the bridge pickup again. And we'll 
dial the tone back just a touch and show you that real quick too. One more with a pick, bridge pickup, full volume, halfway tone. There you have it that's kind of a nice array of tones you can pull out of this thing very typical jazz bass you get everything from p bass kind of thuddy to jazz bass bright and punchy great slap great palm muting finger style pick super versatile instruments as you would expect out of a jazz bass the fender ventera 60s jazz bass this particular one is fire mist gold but there's a uh, many other colors this will be attached to all of our product images too um, on our website. So check that out at empiremusiconline.com. Call us here at the shop 412-343-5299. Free shipping, interest-free financing is always available. Uh, again, my name's Anthony. Talk to myself, Joe or Todd at the shop. More than happy to answer any questions. Get stuff turned around for you super quick here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but we'll ship pretty much anywhere in the country. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.